What's up welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Again today we're talking about the AHP Alpha TIG 200X and in my uh, review I mentioned feeling that the pulse function is not all that useful. And I got a comment back from a reader who, a reader, a subscriber who asked me well I didn't say it wasn't useless so what are the limited uses. Let me show you two of them. What I've got here is some really thin mild steel. It's 22 gauge, 30 second of an inch. I'm going to show you how you can do a lap joint with this using the pulse function, no filler, just a fusion weld. And then we'll do a uh, out of position weld. A vertical fillet joint, uh, 3G fillet joint, 3F fillet joint, and I'll show you how the pulse can help keep the puddle from falling out on you. So let me get ready and we'll take a look at it. All right, here is the uh, fusion weld on that 22 gauge material. I have the machine set for 45 amps uh, pulse peak. 70 or 65 percent pulse base 50 percent on time and five pulses per second it works out really well and the pulsing uh, allows you not to burn through that super super thin metal all right here's a look at it see how it makes you puddle real nice and not burn all the way through the other side not too shabby. All right, next we're going to do that uh, vertical weld. This is a little tougher. I have it set for 150 amps. Um, pulse peak is at 150, 65% pulse base, about 75% pulse on time. And again, we're at five pulses per second. At this rate, you cannot time um, when you add your filler material. So you just have to uh, pay, not pay attention to the pulses and add it as it's needed. Now, I am a guy that does most of my uh, TIG welding in the flat position on the bench, so this ain't going to be beautiful. But it will be a solid and sound weld. And there it is. Like I said, it ain't beautiful, but it's a solid sound weld, and using the pulse keeps it from falling out. Well, that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Before you start sending me hate mail about this weld, let me just say, in all honesty, I'm not the weld monger. I do 99% of my TIG welding in the flat position on the bench. So, that being said, I don't think it's that damn bad. You don't like it, then you don't like it. Thanks for watching. I hope I showed you something that you can do with the pulse function on the AHP TIG uh, 200X. I get the hell out of my shop.